Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and yes, the title is not clickbait. We are going to be getting to the brand new Fabled support, but it is your host with the most, Avery of R32 here, and destroy the ever-living Jirak and Fabled boo-boo staying off that like and subscribe button. As we climb even higher, the 1500 ladder, my grand or my grandparents, I'm going to be seeing my grandparents this weekend, but my parents are asleep in the other room, so I have to kind of be a little bit quiet. But I wanted to talk about the new Jirak as well as the new Fabled support. It's actually not up on YGO organization yet. That's how quick we are to the party. They got dropped about an hour ago but i want to talk about both the jirac and the fabled support because there's not a whole lot of cards revealed for both so let's just go ahead and get on into it first one here is jirac megalo this is a level one fire dinosaur tuner with 500 attack 1300 defense you can only use the first second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn if you control a dinosaur monster you can special summon this card from your hand that's very easy to accomplish in a dino deck during your main phase you can discard two cards including a jirac card then draw two cards if this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect you can send one Jirak monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard, except Jirak Megalo. I like the fact that this doesn't lock you into dinosaurs, so um, if you wanted to do some shenanigans with, what is it, Jirak Alio, which is like a level 2 dinosaur tuner, um, there's a lot of dinosaurs in the game that you can just play in a deck, in like a good pile deck, uh, that don't lock you into dinosaurs, but obviously, even with Misk at 1, you could play this in a straight dino deck, and uh, dinosaurs are only better now. Um, this is Jirak Stygo, level 4 Dinosaur Effect Monster, 1700 attack, 900 defense. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. During your main phase, you can destroy one card you control. Notice that that says destroy, so you know, again, dinosaur players, y'all eating good. If you do, send one dinosaur monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's fucking sick. Then you can special summon any number of Jirak monsters from your hand and or deck whose total levels equal the sent monsters level, ignoring their summoning conditions except Stygo. Also, you can't special summon for the rest of the turn except Dinos. We don't care. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can return one card on the field to the hand. That doesn't target, so that's that's pretty sexy. This is Jirak Asterio, level 10 fire dinosaur synchro effect monster, 2500 attack, 2300 defense, requires one tuner plus one or more non-tuner dinosaur monsters. If this card's synchro summon, you can set one Jirak speller, or, yeah, you can set one Jirak speller trap from your deck or grave. I thought it said descend, excuse me. Once per turn, if your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters, quick effect, you can banish two dinosaur monsters from your graveyard, negate the summon, and if you do destroy that monster, monsters. Cool, so you're now insulated from Nibiru, as if you weren't already, but Misk is at one, so sure. During your opponent's turn quick effect, you can banish two Jirak monsters from your graveyard, including this card. Special summon one Jirak Meteor from your extra deck. This treat as a synchro summon. Now you might be thinking, why in God's name would you ever want to summon Jirak Meteor? Jirak Meteor has a simple effect that when it's synchro summon, it destroys all, all other cards on the field. And it's like a 3,000 tech beat stick, so... Yeah, uh, being able to drop out Meteor is actually insane. This is Jirak Volcano, Field Spell. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. During your main phase, you can destroy one Dinosaur Monster you control. Again, that's busted. And if you do special summon one Jirak Monster from your deck, so you can pop a Baby Cerasaurus and put out two bodies. Cool. If your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, during the turn they activated monster effects four or more times... You can special summon one Jirak Meteor from your extra deck. This treat is a synchro summon. So essentially, they're putting like a Nibiru-esque effect on this, because obviously Jirak Meteor destroys all other cards. So monster effects four or more times. It's it's like a roundabout way of saying Nibiru. Uh, if a Jirak monster or monsters you control will be destroyed by card effect, you can banish one dinosaur monster from your graveyard instead. Don't really know if the field spell will see play. Maybe it will, because popping a dino is really good. And then these are just the reprints. Overall, these cards are absolutely busted. Now, <clears throat> I want to get into these fabled cards. So, obviously, as you can see, it's not coming from YGO organization, but um, these translations seem to be accurate. Um, obviously, uh, hopefully I won't have to put out a video saying that this was inaccurate. But this is the fabled behemos. Is that what it says? A behermos, excuse me. Now, quick flashback to like the early 2010s. I actually have a Dark World Fabled deck profile on this channel. It was the first video that ever really blew up for me, got over 200 views. And back in the day, we actually played some Fabled cards in Dark World because you could do things like the Fabled Raven, where you could discard any number of cards from your hand. It would increase the level of Fabled Raven and increase its attack. You didn't care. You just wanted to discard your Dark Worlds. Keep in mind that um, pretty much all the Fabled monsters are soft once per turns, or they just have effects that aren't once per turns. Like Fabled Grimro is now a broken card with this support, I feel, because it's a non-once per turn dis uh, send this card to the graveyard to search any Fabled monster, and a lot of them are light fiends, so you know what that means. We got fiendsmith combos, ladies and gentlemen. So this is Fabled Behermos, level 2 light beast tuner effect monster, 1,000 attack, 600 defense. You can only use the first and second effect 
of uh, this card's name once per turn. If this card is in your hand, you can discard two or more fabled monsters, including this card. And if you do special summon one fabled synchro monster from your extra deck, whose level equals the total levels of the discarded monsters, this tree is a synchro summon. Notice that it says discard, so you can trigger things like Lurry, and you can trigger a few of the other uh, fabled effect monsters that say when they're discarded, they can special summon themselves. So that's really good. If a card is sent from your hand to the graveyard, while well, this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, special summon one fabled monster from your hand. This, this card's solid. This card's really good. Uh, next up here, we have Fable Gamujin. Level 4 Light Fiend Tuner Synchro Effect Monster, 2000 attack, 0 defense. Requires 1 Fable Tuner plus 1 or 1 tuner monsters. You can only use the first and third effects of this card's name once per turn each. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can special summon 1 Fabled Monster from your hand or deck. Your opponent cannot target other Fabled Synchro Monsters with card effects except this one while in the monster zone. I guess. Sure. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can draw cards equal to the number of fabled synchro monsters you control, then discard one card. This card isn't really the best, at least at face value, um, but yeah. Next up, we got this badass thing. So this is Fabled Leviathan with like the Evil Swarm virus on it. This is dope. Keep in mind, this is from Terminal World 2. The Evil Swarms were in to, uh, like the... Uh, Term, not Terminal Revenge, but like the original Hidden Arsenal stuff. So maybe we could see some uh, Evil Swarm support maybe in the next day or two. That would be really cool. So this is Fabled Levelzebub, level 10 Light Fiend Synchro Effect Monster, 3050 attack, 1950 defense. Yeah, that's definitely Evil Swarm virus vibes. Requires one tuner plus one of my non tuner monsters. You can only use the uh, second effect of this card's name once per turn. So once per turn during the main phase, quick effect. You can tribute any number of fabled monsters you control, and if you do take control of that many face-up monsters your opponent controls, but negate their effects. So, that's uh, that's actually kind of good. That seems really crazy. This card's in the graveyard. You can target one fabled monster in your graveyard. Return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, add that target to your hand. Okay. Doesn't seem all that bad. Um... So this card uh, is actually in reference to the field spell. Um, I read the field spell. The field spell seems okay. Um, this is Revival of the Fabled Realm. Their field spell is like something, something Fabled Realm. But anyway, uh, continue spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When this card's activated, you can set one Fabled spell or trap from your deck except Revival when it resolves. So you can set the field spell. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when you synchro summon a fabled synchro monster. What's with Konami printing these cards that just doesn't let you respond to like summons and activations and shit? Once per turn, you can discard one fabled card, then activate one of these effects. Draw one card or special summon one fabled monster from your graveyard or banishment. So, overall, the Jirak cards I think are really solid for dinos, and I think that these fabled cards are actually really solid for fabled decks, and I think we may even see... Maybe I'm kind of pushing it. Maybe we'll see Fabled Dark World come back. Maybe not. Um, but, oh, uh, Fabled not being hard once per turns on all their cards because they're from way back in the day. Yeah, y'all better go get your Fabled cards now because I'm sure that stuff's already shot through the roof. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's really cool to see Fabled get support. I remember playing this stuff back in the day. If y'all want to trip down memory lane, just go on the search bar on my YouTube channel and just type in like Fabled Dark World. I'm sure you'll find it. It's got like 250 views or something. It really blew up on YouTube, at least for me back in the day. And uh, the the camera quality is, is liquid ass with big old chunks inside. But... Uh, the, the things that we did to try and get our Dark World effects back in the day. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.